the Electro Archon Ball, or as she is often called, the Raiden Shogun, was never as strict and ruthless as you see her now. She was once a calm and quiet and gentle Archon, with her beauty nearly unequal. She also had great companions and allies that helped her along in her duties and had even greater friends within it. All in the same situation as the Shogun herself, divine and mysterious beings, all holding great power and importance within their archipelagic region. A fox goddess with hair as white as snow, an oni possessing great power yet is as beautiful as the moon, and the Yogo Tango general within the Shogunate rule. All three of them were great and powerful allies, and all three of them were cherished and admired as close friends of the Shogun. Yet what's to come upon the bond of these four deeply cherished beings is a wound that cuts deeper than they could have ever imagined. And to the one who was left standing can only bear the pain and anguish that was burned within it. The Kitsune Saigu, or Lady Saigu, was a prominent feature of Inazuma, who was worshipped and still is as the Narukami goddess. She was once a descendant of the Hakushin clan and was a close ally and a great friend of the Shogun. Like all Kitsune, she could live longer than any normal human would. But the knowledge as to how long they can live for is still unknown. She had white hair and fur and often wore a Shrine Mutant's garb. And from what we know, the Kitsune Saigu had a very odd sense of humor as she was especially keen and was particular to the topic of memory and that she very much ties one's memory as someone's legacy to the Kitsune Saigu and I quote, To lose one's memory is no different from losing one's life. It is like death amidst eternal darkness, end quote. One of her many achievements and notable deeds was when she tricked the Bakaidanoki, Iroi, into submitting to the Raiden Shogun, as well as learning their various magic. Her life as a kitsune was not spent tending her duties at the Grand Narukami Shrine. She became very acquainted with a few mortals, namely, one of the Shrine Maidens, an easygoing young man serving the Shogun, and a certain individual from Kanjo, as well as meeting a clan that could make meteors bloom like flowers in the sky. All would seem fine and peaceful, but every era had its own conflict to deal with, especially when neighboring civilizations were involved. 500 years ago, there was an incident called the Dark Disaster, and to protect the inhabitants of Inazuma, the Kitsune Saigu had to trick the Bakidanoki Iroi again this time into a simple game of hide and seek. And as gullible as the Bakidanoki were, they accepted. But the Kitsune Saigu had to deal with a greater opponent. And without having any moment to delay, she had to bid farewell to her friends, and sadly to the Shogun herself, quite abruptly. After which, she then willingly let herself be swallowed by a dark will that was developing within Inazuma. And in her dying moments, she asked the dark will that slowly ate away at her, to spare her memories. The Dark Will was kind enough to let her have a parting wish, but it would soon become the filth that we know as the entities we fought and lent our aids to in purging the evil littered all over Inazuma. The Kitsune Saigu could never be seen again, and only remnants of her memories grow as now the evil spirits and filth that roam the land. The Shogun, at a loss for words, could only bear her eyes to see what had happened. Even though they could both live as long as they could, she was left with the words she thought she would never hear from her close friend. Do not be blinded, do not waver, and keep walking the path that you believe in. Mikoshi Chio was an Oni and was a member of the Mikoshi clan, which was a very prominent clan 500 years ago and still exists in the present timeline of Teyvat. She was also described as beautiful as the moon, so beautifully unmatched that even Lady Saigo herself, the goddess and heir to the Hakushin clan, had to hide her own face behind a mask. Chiyo was a very valuable ally of the Shogun and fought alongside her through many battles, especially in battles within the Cataclysm's events. And within those battles in the Cataclysm 500 years ago, Chiyo was swallowed whole by what can be described as a pitch black tiger with a snake's tail and was called the beast of sin itself. After being swallowed by this beast as she was inside its stomach, she was unknowingly corrupted by the beast's power. With all her might she was able to break free 
from the beast's stomach by ripping it completely in half from the inside and slaying the beast then and there. But little did she know that the darkness inside her was already spreading and she had become the host of the beast of sin's corruption. Without any sense of control, she brought her blade against the Shogun herself, and with nothing else to do but defend herself, the Shogun had to face her respected ally and one of her closest friends. Within her mind, she thought she didn't want to lose another friend. She severed Chiyo's sword arm and broke one of her horns. The Mikoshi, deprived of her ability to fight, she fled to the forests and was never seen again. Multiple rumors have been said that she was found and slain, by the Tengu of the mountains, and some believe that she was defeated by another Oni, one that moved quite similar to that of a puppet. But one thing we can be sure of is that the Shogun did not desire for events that happened that day, and to lose one of her close friends, the Shogun has become disheartened. One of the great and well-respected generals within the Shogunate, the Tengu Sasayuri, and the great ally to the people of Inazuma, as one of the Yogo Tengu who lived in the mountains of Mount Yogo, the Tengu were characterized by their black wings and the all too familiar mask that only they possess. They were well versed in the martial arts of swordsmanship and archery and were greatly shared upon by the citizens of Inazuma. Nearly unrivaled in speed, they even held a race against the Kitsune Saigu and although Lady Saigu won the race, rumor has it that they were going easy on her. The Yogo Tengu can also possess great power, once given a name, and Sasayuri, as his name would suggest, holds great divine power and hence why he would become the Shogun's general. But an ill fate befell the wings of the great general Sasayuri in a battle 500 years ago. A civil war between the Shogunate and the great serpent Oroboshi broke off when Oroboshi himself invaded the island of Yashiori. The Shogun would then bring his forces to fight against the rampaging serpent. And as the battle waged on, the two sides were fighting over control of the island. The Shogun's general and close friend Sasayuri couldn't hold on much longer, and Oroboshi had him against the wall. She tried her hardest to get to him and save her comrade, but in the end, she was too late. Out of anger and grief of losing her general and respected friend, she put down her glaive and gathered all her elemental energy. Crackling sounds of lightning and sparks from the sky enveloped around the Shogun as she unsheaths a katana made of pure electro energy. Her eyes glowing a shining purple, her hair floating in the air, and the massive thunderstorm covered all of Yashiori Island. The great serpent Oroboshi, with its large body, could only prepare itself from getting hit. A surge of electro was rushing towards the Shogun. She had to slay this beast now and be done with it, she thought. And before the serpent could even guard, in a blink of an eye, the island was sliced in half, and with it, the serpent itself, Oroboshi, was cut clean. A few moments pass, then a loud cracking thunder choked the entire battlefield. Raiden had defeated the great serpent, but at the cost of her most respected general and a good friend. Having lost three of her most cherished companions, the Shogun could only do what she was left with and uphold her duty as the Electro Archon. Yet as she moves forward and trudge into the depths of eternity, she finds herself looking back and wishes she could end it there when she could. A goddess who laid upon the darkness to be eaten. A beautiful Oni corrupted by sin itself. A general who had fallen in battle. A Shogun left behind to bear her pain as she trudges forward. And the eternity that these four would have had now becomes as still and empty as the nothingness of eternity itself.